Hey, how's it going, pop-up camper family? Welcome back to It's Poppin'. So, in this video, we wanna show you how we have our Blackstone set up for our pop-up camper, kind of what the setup is, how we utilize it with our pop-up camper, mm -hmm. and then also how we travel with it, how we pack it down and store it, of course, in our pop-up camper when we're going back and forth. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Blackstone. We have a 22 inch adventure ready with hood Blackstone model and we found that this Blackstone, uh, specifically the size, is really great for groups of anywhere from just the two of us all the way up to eight people. And so it's more than enough space when it's just the two of us, but we really enjoy having just that little bit of extra space if we're cooking something that we want to spread out across the griddle. So the 22 inch here of course has the hood and we found that this is a uh, a little bit heavy for packing around with the hood and the blackstone of course it's about 37 and a half pounds so we also picked up a 17 inch model that we thought would be a little bit more portable that one without the hood because we didn't buy the hood uh with the 17 is a little bit more manageable at about 22 pounds so about a 15 pound difference between these two uh, but if you're cooking like uh, we said earlier for maybe four to eight people 22 is definitely the way to go but if it's just us two and we're only going camping uh, by ourselves, we definitely take the 17 inch. All right, so you've heard us talk about our Blackstone in videos before, but this is actually the newest part of our Blackstone setup, and that's the Blackstone prep, serve, and store cart. And this, we hesitated a little bit on buying at first, but we decided that um, the price that we got it for was about the same as a camp kitchen, and wow, has it changed our Blackstone experience. Uh, it gives us so much more prep space. I mean, you can see it's got this really large prep area. It has all of these nice slotted areas on the back. It came with these little prep bowls that we can put just different ingredients in, um, different spices, or you know, you could just store whatever you need in those little bowls. It has hooks for our spatulas, which keeps them up off of the surfaces, keeps it a little bit more clean while we're cooking. And of course it has this nice area underneath. And so you can throw paper towel, your plates, you know, extra like chips and burger buns and anything that you want underneath there while you're cooking to kind of keep that cooking space a little bit more open. Now swinging around to the side, we also have a paper towel holder integrated into this, which has been awesome. Uh, keeps the paper towel nice and secure as well as handy while you're cooking and prepping and all of that. And on the other side of the unit, there's actually a garbage holder. And so the bag can slip right on and we can toss off anything that we don't need as we're prepping. So as far as how we go and hook the Blackstone up to our pop-up camper, we of course have one of these quick connect uh, propane lines that runs underneath our pop-up camper. So you just simply pop this end right into that quick connect that couples in nicely. Then we have plenty of hose. I forget exactly how long this is, but the adapter we got off of Amazon. And then of course, this runs all the way up to the Blackstone. And once again, there's a quick connect right here. That pops right in there. And then this is what's kind of proprietary to the Blackstone, this connector right here, but that just slides on and then screws right in. And then that way, of course, our Blackstone runs off the low pressure system of our pop-up camper. We have uh, the two 20 pound tanks up front. So plenty of propane to run, of course, the Blackstone and everything else in the pop-up camper. So when we're done cooking for the day, we can close this up and it stores really beautifully. So of course we have all this space underneath to be able to put any things that are on top, or of course we could pop them into the camper as well. So really pretty seamless packs up pretty quickly. And then this just folds right down. And then there are clips here for keeping it nice and secure. And of course we also want to make sure that our Blackstone is protected at night. And so we have a really simple cover that we can just pop right over. Thank you. 
just in case it rains or something like that. Now our Blackstone is ready for the morning. So now that we're back home, obviously, <laughs> I wanted to go over how we go about packing up and storing and of course transporting our little Blackstone setup. So as far as the Blackstone itself is concerned, of course we have that um, just cover, the rain cover that we put on it, but we also have a nice little, and I say handy in quotes because it's, you know, about 36 pounds and it's kind of bulky. So we also have a handy uh, carry bag or carry tote for the Blackstone. And that of course enables you to put it anywhere in your pop-up or truck or vehicle and not get things kind of dirty. Of course, the Blackstone is inherently a little bit greasy. So we like to use the carry bag and put it in the front of our pop-up camper. That keeps, uh, you know, that 36 pounds, or if we're taking the 17, that 22 pounds uh, forward of the axle, and it keeps the weight a little bit more towards the tongue. So we, of course, keep it in that like nice little nook that's formed when we have the slide in, in, and uh, I guess that's in between the cabinet and the shower. Now, as far as the Blackstone Prep, Serve, and Store Cart is concerned, that is kind of bulky at, and I think off the top of my head, it's about 66, 67 pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood. So it's kind of heavy. Um, fortunately, it does break down and fold up into a pretty convenient package. So um, as far as what we do is we, you know, break it down and and uh, flip it on its side. Um, all of the legs and such fold up nicely into a pretty convenient, relatively little package. And once that's all uh, broken down and in its final transportation form, we store ours in the slide out dinette area underneath the dinette table. We find that it fits in that area really nicely. And of course the slide out dinette is right over the axle of our pop-up. So that keeps that kind of bulky 66, 67 pounds right over the axle. So with all that being said, all you really need to achieve that, you know, nice setup that we have with all the prep space, of course, the Blackstone itself and the adapter hose is those three pieces. It makes it really convenient to prep whatever meals you want to make. And it's very convenient in the fact that all of it breaks down pretty reasonably, a little on the heavy side, but it all breaks down um, in a nice compact form and you don't have to worry about bringing an extra pro propane because of course the um, adapter hose that you can get off Amazon connects right into that low pressure system and it works perfectly every time. So it's super convenient and it kind of works with our pop-up campers system. So with all that being said, let's uh, head back to the campground for some final thoughts. All right, so that's our Blackstone setup. Hopefully you guys may have gotten some ideas for yourself or your own setups. Um, I guess we, what do we all cook over it? Like hash browns, pancakes? Fajitas, uh, chicken fried rice. I mean, this weekend, if we cooked something, it was on the Blackstone, and that's mm -hmm. pretty much every weekend for us. We try and cook as much as we can outside of our camper, yeah. and the Blackstone just makes that so seamless. Yeah, we literally cooked everything this weekend over the Blackstone. Yeah. And exclusively. Although, of course, we did make sure our menu conformed to that, but yeah. you can totally do that and, and do some pre-planning and make sure everything works with whatever cooking appliance you're bringing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, like we said, hopefully that uh, gives you some ideas on a, a setup you might be able to use for yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, as always, guys, hopefully you've seen the next video. If not, hopefully we see you out there camping. <laughs>